Keith arrives in the MRI department at St. Mary's Hospital on the same day as the treatment, where his head must be clean-shaven in order to provide a distortion-free transmission of the ultrasound waves so that they can be focused deep in the middle of the brain without the need for open surgery or even an incision. A frame is attached to minimise movement during the treatment, for which Keith is awake the entire time. The neurosurgical team in the MRI control room use the computer to tell the system where to focus the 1,000 ultrasound waves to a one millimetre point deep in the brain where the nerves that are causing the tremor are located. As the treatment progresses, the clinical team frequently assess the effects that they are having on Keith's tremor by having him attempt to draw a spiral, which is the standard test for tremor severity. St Mary's was the first hospital in the country to treat NHS patients, but as Professor Nandy explains, more centres will be needed in order to offer an acceptable NHS service to the many essential tremor patients who need it. Given the population age distribution in England, I would expect you need a minimum of five to six other centres which need to be housed in tertiary movement disorder centres of excellence. Thank you.